Greetings, weather nerds, and welcome back. Boy, we're going to be talking about the big one possible for the middle of the month. We're talking about heavy snows, we're talking Arctic cold, and we're talking severe weather and possible tornadoes coming your way right now. So welcome back, Weather Nerds, to the Weather Nerds YouTube page. I'm meteorologist Greg Majeski, and what I'm going to be focusing on for this report is the European model just in focusing in on the weekend of December the 9th and 10th, because that's when things will start to come together. We're going to talk about the different ingredients coming together, which could provide heavy snows for the Intermountain region. We're talking some very cold air coming down out of Canada, and we're also talking about the potential for severe weather once again into the plain state. So right now I've got the model here showing in for your Saturday. So it's going to zoom in here a little bit and we're going to go ahead and step you forward here through time as we've got a pretty good dip in the jet stream here. Look at the jet stream screaming up here, coming all the way down the west coast and coming this way. You've got a very active subtropical jet stream coming this way and they're kind of coming together, a little phasing together here this. Now the question is, does it stay together or does it pinch off as a cutoff low? That remains to be seen. But as I go ahead and forward you through this, as we go forward through time, you're going to see that this thing's going to bury itself and you're going to see a lot of what we call difluence. This is called where the air is spinning and kind of separating here. You get at the bottom of this low, you see it kind of going like this. So the areas out here into the Oklahoma and Texas uh, is an area of concern for the potential severe weather. On the back side of this, you've got cold air that's going to be diving down in behind this system. So you've got the cold air funneling in here as well. And that could provide a healthy dump of snow for areas, say, around the Four Corners region. We're talking about uh, Colorado, Utah, Arizona, and New Mexico getting some heavy snow. So you've got Arctic cold air coming in. You've got some warm air that's going to be streaming in out of the Gulf of Mexico, providing the moisture and the feed for potential thunderstorms in there. And you've got a tremendous amount of wind shear to provide a spin to the atmosphere that could potentially set off tornadoes. All right, let's go ahead and break it down and look at the snow potential first for the four corners as this upper level low starts to pull out into the plains. Now, quickly, before we go ahead and get into the four corners region as far as snow, let's go ahead and zoom in on the northeast. There is a pretty good snow event that's going to be coming in that way going into Sunday and Monday. So we're talking about uh, going from December 3rd, 4th, and 5th with the heavy snows up that way. So as I go ahead and you step you through this, again, you can see the heavy snows that are expected through New England for areas of New York, New Hampshire, Vermont, and Maine as we go into overnight Monday. By Tuesday, things should be coming to an end. So a pretty significant snow event down here. You're talking upwards of over a foot of snow for a lot of locations up into the areas of the Northeast. Now let's go ahead and shift to the areas of the Four Corners as we move down to the Southwest and I take this forward in time here. And this is really kind of catching the tail end of when the heavy stuff is expected to fall. So we're talking about the areas here in the Four Corners, a lot of the mountainous areas getting over a foot of snow, a lot of the purple areas that you're seeing right in through here. And I do suspect as, as the storm begins to evolve and pull out of the Southwest that we'll get even more snows in there. So areas like from Denver over to Flagstaff definitely need to be on the watch out for the potential for the heavy snows as this storm system pulls out of the southwest and out into the plains. All right, let's go ahead and focus a little more on the temperatures and see where the clash of the air masses will be taking place as far as the potential for severe weather across the lower plains. So coming back to the temperatures, and this is uh, showing the temperatures for Saturday morning. We're talking about December the 9th as we're taking you through that weekend. Uh, you could definitely see the clash setting up. You got some very cold air across the inner mountain region, uh, across the west. You got a nice warm up here in the middle of the country with some warmer air coming up from here. As we're watching that low pressure system that's going to be sitting back in here, it's going to be kind of pulling on out. Uh, into the plains here as we go forward into time through that weekend. So as I step you through here, you can just see how warm it's going to get uh, here. You're talking uh, your daytime highs here. I mean, look at this. You're getting a lot of 70s in here uh, along the coast. You're seeing 70s in here across a large area of Texas in here. It's very warm air as this cold air is going to plunge into this and it kind of really set up the clash of the air, air masses here. And as we go forward into time, again, you kind of see that frontal system coming in there as that cold air is really establishing itself. So this is the tail end of the 10-day model. So you've got 
Clearly got a cold front sitting right through here. Uh, the areas we're going to be watching is going to be areas from Oklahoma, Texas, Arkansas, as this thing begins to evolve and it begins to pull on out. So what we're going to do right now is we've seen the clash. It's set up right here. Let's go ahead and look at the precipitation outlook, and you kind of see how things are going to evolve as we go into the tail end of the European model 10 days out. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this all the way out to Sunday morning. Then we're talking about December the 10th here. And I want to kind of break down what you're seeing right here with this current setup. So again, we're going to zoom in a little bit here on the southwest as we've got uh, showers and thunderstorms starting to play out here across Texas and Oklahoma. Uh, you've got snows up into Denver coming in here. you got a very cold high. There's a 1048 high pressure system up in here. So we got some cold air funneling in here from the south. You have an upper level low that's uh, clearly being seen here with the blues kind of circling that low, the upper level low feature and the surface low feature. So as this pulls out into the plains, uh, that's where we can still could see some active weather here uh, beyond the 10 day. So everybody in the eastern third of the United States will need to watch this storm system as it pulls out into the plains. As again, we can look at a potential tornado outbreak here as the system pulls out, especially going into Monday and Tuesday. The heavy snow threat for the Colorado Rockies, uh, for Colorado, for Denver, down to Flagstaff and areas across the Intermountain region. Uh, we'll need to watch this closely as well. So this is a very strong and dynamic system. System. The question remains is will it be turn into a cutoff low or does the jet just kind of swing around? And when it, when I talk about that, I mean does it hold together as a concurrent system in the jet stream? When it does, that usually means a stronger system. If it's a cutoff low, still a dynamic system, but maybe not as strong. So those are the questions that we're gonna have to watch closely as we go further in the time. So you need to keep it tuned right here. I'll continue to give you updates on this storm system as we get closer to it. So if you could do me a favor, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit that good notification bell. That way you know when I'm uploading new content so you can keep, keep up to date on the latest developments with the storm system. This has been something I've been kind of eyeballing here toward the middle of December was gonna be a pretty active storm system. And uh, right now the European did a very good job on the last one. We'll see how it works out for this one. That's your update for now. You guys. Take it easy. We'll see you on the next report.